meets today to consider the nominations of Dr. John Whitley to be Director, Cost Assessment and Program Evaluation, Mr. Sean Manasco to be Under Secretary of the Air Force, Ms. Michelle uh, Pierce to be General Counsel for the Army, and uh, Mr. Liam Hardy to be Judge of the Court of Appeals for the Armed Forces. Thank you all for being here today. We are familiar with all four of these uh, nominees. Uh, Dr. Whitley, at the beginning of this administration, the Senate confirmed you to be the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Financial and Management Controller, and you have a long line of accomplishments in, the, in, in that field. Uh, Mr. Manasco, you've been previously confirmed to be Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Manpower and Reserve Affairs. You have a record of distinguished service. We appreciate your willingness to take this on. Ms. Pierce, we began your career as the service as an Air Force judge and ab judge advocate. And since then, you've performed excellently in, well, numerous senior civilian legal positions in the House of Representatives and the, in the Department of Defense. And Mr. Hardy, you serve presently as the Deputy Attorney General in the Office of Legal Counsel in the Department of Justice, where you are charged to resolve the most significant challenges and legal issues. So it's nice to have you continue your services. It's standard in this committee to ask the required questions. So uh, as I ask these questions, if you vocally come out and would like to hear four yeses or four noes. Um, have you adhered to the applicable laws and regulations governing conflict of interest? Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> Will you ensure that your staff complies with the deadlines established for requested communications, including the questions for the record in hearings? Yes. 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 Will you cooperate in uh, providing witnesses and briefers in response to congressional requests? Yes. 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 Will those witnesses be protected from reprisal for their testimony or briefings? Yes. 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 Do you agree if confirmed to appear and testify among the upon a request before this committee? Yes. Yes. Do you agree to uh, provide documents, including copies of electronic forms of communications in a timely manner when requested by a duly constituted committee or to consult with the committee regarding the basis for any good faith delay or denial in providing such documents? Yes. 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 And last, have you assumed any duties or undertaken any actions which would appear to presume the outcome of the confirmation process? No. 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 Okay, we all know that uh, we're dealing with the most dangerous world, I believe, that we've experienced before since I've been chairman of this committee. The, the committee is focused on ensuring that DOD has the authorities and resources it needs to complement the national defense strategy. That's this document right here. That's where six Republicans, six Democrats, all uh, experts in their fields agreed. And, and we've been following this. This has been our blueprint, and I, I appreciate that adherence to that. Um, uh, as you're the key senior leaders in the Department of Defense, would you play a, a, a key role in supporting the Secretary Esper and Sec Secretary of the Air Force Barrett, Secretary of the Army McCarthy, as they implement the national defense strategy while caring for our most important assets, the men and women of our armed forces. We look forward to hearing your views on these and other important issues. Uh, Secretary, uh, Senator Reid. 